Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Spirit in the North. Spirit of the North? Spirit in the North? One of those two, I think. So yeah, last time we completed chapter two and I actually have a bit more time to record now. So we'll probably have a more full length episode this time rather than just having like a short little chapter. Uh, I'm considering as well, possibly uh, at the end of this LP, going back and getting all of the uh, secrets that I missed because they're available in chapter select and it shows you where you missed one, which is super neat. Okay, so it's just explaining to me that I can jump. I already knew that. Uh, what's back there, huh? Something following me? Or is that just my spirit friend catching up? Looks like it's my spirit friend catching up. Hey, spirit friends. Come on. All right, so whoop. things are kind of weird walking on this because it's an uneven surface, so my character kind of jitters around sometimes. More of these uh, basalt columns. Wow, there's a lot of them. Okay. Jeez. Got it. Okay. They like their basalt columns in this game. Cool. Uh, staves? Still trying to search for those. But yeah, the, um, getting all the things that we missed will probably be like a, uh, bonus episode at the end, possibly, and we can show off the, uh, final fox color that I assume you get for collecting all of them, and if anything happens story-wise with that, I can show it off too. Assuming I don't miss, like, half of the stabs in the game, which I certainly hope I don't. But I, I want to make this watchable so that, you know, I'm not just like 30 minutes of a video isn't it's just me expanding uh just exploring a massive environment with no story progress at all um but i also don't want to miss any of the secrets so we, we have to strike a balance as it were is there anything over there can't quite tell and if i fall we're gonna have to get all the way back up here and uh there wasn't anything i like this little platforming though it's pretty fun and this music's pretty damn good as well. Okay, so we got a swish tail for this, right? Is that not what we had to do? No swish tail? Huh. Yeah, I thought we had to swish tail on those. Didn't we do that last time? Okay, well. Maybe that was just something. Wait, did it just go in there? There we go. Nope. No, it's not doing anything. All right, well, I just wanted to be sure. What does this do? Oh, does this potentially give me the... Okay, now I'm charged up. Okay, cool. So we actually have to have, to actually have a charge to do this. Okay. So I was just doing it wrong. I just remembered last time that we, you know, we did that to interact with these stones, and my controller was vibrating, so... That's pretty cool how the stones fell during that. I like that. Usually, you know, when something like that happens, the things around it don't actually do much. Like, the stone wall or secret door or whatever just goes down and the other stone's perfectly fine. But, uh, it's cool that they added in that little detail. Is this ash? Or sand? Can't quite tell. Looks like it could be a mixture of both. I mean, it would make sense with the volcano that uh, we know has erupted, that this would be ash. It also seems like we're uh, way less... Hello. Give me that. Yee. Charge me up. Um, it seems like we're less icy than I thought. Like, I thought the entire game was going to be icy, but no, we're already getting to new environments, which is pretty cool, actually. So wait, there's two of these? Do I even need to refill? I don't think I do, do I? I mean, I imagine these things have like a charge. There wasn't something back there we could use this on, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't like see a monolith or anything hiding over here. Okay, so let's just keep going. 
Maybe they just gave us two just for fun? There's one down there. Oh, and there's another one right there. Okay, so there's a lot of them around here. That's why we have so many. Well, then one of them probably leads to a secret, if I had to guess. Okay, there's a staff. Hello. We just gotta find your accompanying body. And we can go ahead and grab ourselves a secret. Oh, there's your body. Well, that was pretty simple. To find, at least. Man, solving puzzles and traversing an environment like this makes me want to play Superland again. I can't wait for Superland 2. Even though I did horrible with Superland 1. Oh, that's kind of sad. This, this character was, like, hunched over. Like they were freezing to death. Or, no, they were probably hiding from the... Volcano. Like the like the magma and the lava and stuff. Huh. There's so much emotion and things you can put across by just having a character sit a specific way. It's a really powerful storytelling mechanic. I, I love show don't tell. It's pretty cool. You can make for some pretty impactful moments where like your mind slowly just goes through the motions of figuring out what exactly is happening in front of you. And it just drives it home that much more. Okay, so we got that secret. So we haven't missed another one yet. Which is nice. Uh, hello? You seem important. Alright, so that filled you in. What was the point of that? I don't know. Bork. Power me up, baby. I need my markings back. My tattoos. Alright, so there's one more of you. And why do we have a third flower, I wonder? That leads me to believe there's another monolith somewhere. I'm not really sure where that would be. Oh, cool. And ourselves a nice stone bridge. And, okay, cool. We didn't block ourselves off there. So that's completely powered now. Is there another wall somewhere? Because, yeah, we have three of the flowers. Is it, are these a one-time use thing, or... Okay, no, we can just keep refilling ourselves with them. Okay, so I was acting under the assumption that those were, like, a limited resource. So if there were three flowers, there was probably three things you could interact with. But no, they're, they're not a limited resource at all. The real question is, how do we get up there? Oh, yeah, we... yeah. Because that's where the body was. Okay. Pretty simple stuff. Running around in this game already feels really fun, because the soundtrack... is just... I don't know. There's, there's like, powerful sad songs, and there's, like, epic songs, but, like, this song is just, like, whimsical... and everything. And I like that, too. I like having variety in my soundtrack. It doesn't all have to be, like, incredibly depressing, sad, or epic music. I like some nice whimsical things that makes me feel like I'm a fox possessed by a spirit as well. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure those chimes mean that, uh... That those are save points, basically. So that was useful to get. Is there a thing hiding back here? Nope, that is just a dead end. Good to know. Alright, well, what's down here? I'm already charged, yeah. So we don't need to grab ourselves a charge. Seems like there's water leaking from right there. Oh no, am I about to flood myself with water? I might be. Take it easy on me. And... Doggy paddle. Doggy paddle. I, I know I said last time I would probably switch back to orange pretty quickly, but uh, I think we'll just wait until we get the next uh, skin. I'm calling it a skin, but I guess just color of fox is a better way to put it. Until we get the next uh, unlockable color, and then I'll switch to that. I'm not sure what more there would be. Unless it was like a red and white fox. As opposed to a... Uh, like, uh, orange one. Bork. Oh, look at that cute face. Yeah, they put those flowers around 
a lot, so... I don't think uh, there's really any trouble of us not ever being able to find one of those if we need to be charged up. Now, where is your friend, though? Uh, would you take me to your friend? Possibly. I'm not really sure what that's going to do. Is that a body up there? No. Hmm. Okay, well, we're... We've successfully flooded this area. So... Yeah, that was where those flowers were. Wasn't anything over there, really. Unless, is that a monolith thing? No, that's just like scratches in the rock. Hmm. All right. Let's, I'm going to guess that it's over here. Is that, that's not like a little path, is it? No. So I'm gonna guess it's up here. If it's not up here, then it's down that path somewhere that I can probably access now that the water is like raised. Oh jeez. That's pretty cool. That it's like falling behind me. I like that. Neat little detail. Okay, if I don't find the recipient of this staff soon, we're gonna have a problem and I'm gonna have to jump back down there. I don't see anybody yet though. I'm scared to progress. I don't want to get, like, locked into a, uh, cutscene or anything. Hmm. Where do we even go from here? Guess I'm supposed to jump over there? Yeah, that's all I could really see. Okay, that definitely looks like hard progress. So... The person that owns the staff must be hanging out in here somewhere. I'm very scared to walk through that door, because that looks like it could potentially be a point of no return. Like, the rocks could fall down behind me and make sure I don't go that way again. So I really need to find who, who this goes to. Let's see, we never did re-explore back here after we raised the water level. Don't see anybody, though. We can't dive, really, can we? No. Um... Hmm. I'm trying. Let's see, we got this staff when we activated that pillar, which raised the water level. So yeah, the person must be around here somewhere. And it's not over there. Hmm. Yeah, and we checked over here, if I remember correctly. So maybe it was through that door, and maybe I'm just crazy. I'm gonna be very sad if I miss it, though. So I got the staff, I just need to find the person that it goes to. And yeah, down there leads to nothing, basically. I'm assuming, or at least that's how I recall it. Alright, well, let's just do this platforming section again really quickly. And hopefully the person that the staff goes to is through that door. I wonder if this will be harder now that some of the rocks have fallen. Probably a little bit, at least. Looks like it's still possible, though. I'm sure I'm not missing a jump I could be making around here anywhere to get to, like, a secret area that potentially has this person. No. I definitely don't see anybody when I do a scan of the environment. Uh, jump. Hmm. Alright, well, let's make the jump. I don't know where this person could be. So I'm just gonna bring the staff with me and hope... I run into this mysterious person that's missing. I think I need more of this. Uh, no, bark. This leads me to believe I'm not supposed to have this staff, so this probably went to the guy, bef somebody before. If I had to guess. Like the fact that I had to put it down to get, uh, I'm not sure what to call that. Spirit power? Flower power? I think that'll lower the water level or raise it. So let's go see what was over here before anything else. Doesn't look like anything. Okay. Well. 
Oh wait, did I not actually get the... I thought I uh, got it. Whoops. Please charge me up, Scotty. I must have walked away too quickly. Or not actually barked. Here we go. Yeah, we definitely got it now. Alright, give me my staff. And let's wag that tail. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I just missed this particular staff turn in. Or it could be down here. Looks like somebody's about to drop a package off at my door if you hear a doorbell. Let's see. Okay, they didn't ring the doorbell. Cool. <laughs> it's always a worry when I get a package while I'm recording, and we get packages so much. Alright, so in here. Uh, is there somebody in here that needs their staff back? I would very much like it if there was somebody in here that needed their staff back. Oh, this is a mistake. I gotta go get uh, my power back. I should just grab that every time when I don't have it. It's definitely the smartest way to do it. Can I get that from over here? Um... Does that work? Is that gonna come to me? No, I'm not close enough, I guess. Hit me up, please. Thank you. And now let's fall back down here. Cool, cool. Now I just wag for the statue. Or tombstone, I guess. Some kind of carving. Looks like a snake. I don't like that. I don't think this game would be mean enough to have, like, a giant snake chase me, though. That was a, uh, not fun part in Sekiro for me. Uh, whoops. That was my bad. We need to jump. There we go. Hmm. Still no body. Well. I'm carrying the staff with me until it takes it away. Because that is when I will absolutely 100% know that I missed it. But the staff's going on the journey with me. Wait, why did you, uh... Why did you not give me that? I need you. Come on. Charge me up. Huh. It just won't, uh, come down to me. Weird. Not sure why that's happening. So what is the point of being over here? Hmm. Oh, that's why. Okay, now I just gotta figure out why this flower isn't giving me this. Come on, I'm right here. Right here. Huh. Weird. Alright, well, give me a second. I'm just gonna go get a flower, uh, some of this stuff from another source, probably. Alright, so I just went over there and grabbed it from that source quickly. I Maybe this is for when we raise the water another level. Maybe that's why it doesn't work now. Not sure. Confused me a bit, though. <clears throat> Alrighty. So... Okay, that drains the water. Okay. Yeah, that, like, completely drained the water. Is there anything down here of interest? <gasps> There's a person! I have a staff for you, person. For you who I was looking for this entire time. Did they really expect me to carry the staff that long? Or, is, or have I just ran into a second one? Like, if I held on to the staff so long that I've been able to redeem it at a different character, possibly? I'm not sure which. You're welcome, spirit. You're very, very welcome. Alright, so that's... No, I haven't missed one. Okay, so... Yeah, no, that... I just had to carry that staff with me all that way. Crazy. Oh, no. 
Oh no. I need to activate that, and I don't have the stuff to activate it. Unless... Oh, okay. There we go. We just kind of take the spirit power from one and give it to the other, I guess? Yeah. Alright, cool, cool. I'm glad that ended up working out. Uh, I think I need that back now. Um, okay. Oh, no, I, I tried to jump out of the water. But no, we just need to walk over those rocks. Then we can grab that. Okay, and now the rocks are gone. They disappeared. <laughs> Weird. Hmm. Alright. Oh, jeez, that one almost crushed me. Alright. Well, this is another save point, but like I said, I want to make these episodes a little bit longer, because usually I do 30-minute episodes, so... Let's just keep going. Until one more save point, at least. Alright, I see a chargy flower up here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Yes, hello. I wag my tail. Oh, wait. Yeah, I gotta bark, and then... Wagtails activate, bark is get get power. <laughs> I still gotta get used to these controls. Oh, okay, so the next save point's right there. So once we solve the puzzle in this room, I'll have another save. So that actually worked out quite nicely. Cool, cool. Question is, are there any dead bodies here? These, like, hot tubs. Geysers, I guess, would be a better term. They look like geysers because there's bubbles rising. And I want to say there's something to do with water bubbling where a volcano went uh, active. Like, I imagine, like, the water underground is super hot or something. Well, I have charged to go activate whatever that is, but I want to explore down here first. Just in case that raises the water level. Yeah, what do you do? I'm curious. Oh, okay. You make the geyser shoot water. Yeah. Cool, cool. What is the point of that? I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna find out. There's like a weird color over here. Yeah, that like, this is like brown on this rock kind of looks like the clothes of the people that I'm looking to find, so I kind of uh, got a little bit ahead of myself there and ran over there. <laughs> Like, ooh, there's one of those people. But no. I'm a fool. Okay. So, I guess up there to that one is our next objective. Like I said, I'm not super sure what the geysers are doing exactly. Oh, wait, maybe I'm supposed to use them to get a boost. That is totally what I'm supposed to do. Huh. Are there any interesting areas I can get to with that knowledge? Let's try this. Boom. Wow, the controller really vibrates when those go off. Really sells that you're, like, basically running into a geyser, though. I would like to imagine that would hurt, but I'm not really sure. It definitely seems like something that would hurt. Okay, so now that other geyser is active, which will allow us to hop over that gap and get to the next save point. There's not a, uh, staff hiding around here anywhere. I'm just checking all my corners here, because we have multiple geysers that we didn't actually use. I'm kind of curious if we were supposed to use them all for some reason or another. Uh, it seems like a couple of them are just, like, red herrings to kind of throw you off. Yeah. Alright, well, I don't see anything, so let's go ahead. Sounds like our fox is out of breath. He barely made that jump. Or she. Alright, jump. Oh, I screwed that up. I jumped way too soon. Man. Me and my bad timing. It's kind of hard since I can't, like, see the bubble start to form on this one. So... Yeah, here it comes. Oh! Uh, hmm. 
Maybe, maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. Maybe, oh geez, am I stuck? I might be stuck. I might be stuck. Oh yeah, I think I'm stuck. Oh, this isn't good. Because I, I can't jump since I'm in the water. Oh, I'm so glad I was saved. <laughs> okay, let's just try doing it this way. There we go. Yeah, that's a smarter way of doing it. I was trying to like jump and platform across it, but that's stupid. I can't believe I got stuck. Whew. Okay. All right. Well, this one uh, isn't quite 30 minutes, but uh, we did manage to hit three save points. So I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Spirit of the North, and I will see you next time.